they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Bring the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview. And who do we have in the building today? Uh-huh, y'all got the only D on in the building, man. I be thinking about that shit, but I be rapping. I be writing on my hits when I be trapping. Me and gang come 20 deep, like what happened? Don't be chatting if you're not really a savage. And shout out Talk of the Town. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Of course. Thank you for being here. So I know Walk Away coming out on the 13th. 13th. We looking forward to that. So y'all tune in for that. Yeah. Outside of that, how you feeling? How's your day been going? My day, my day been good. Okay. I, I had a very good day today. You had a actually. very good day yeah, today. Yeah, very good day today. Actually. Oh, hold on. Because they, they laughing and shaking hands <laughs> in the back. What's tea? Like, what, la, la. what's going on today? Why la, you had a very just, good day? Just know, just know, just know, I got, you know, me and me and the team got something to be happy for. It's, it's something okay. not related to music. You know okay. what I'm saying? Personal. Uh -uh. Okay. But, okay. But, just, but, you know, good vibes. I'm spreading them your way. I'm spreading them y'all way, you know. Good okay. Vibes, good vibes. We're going to receive that. All right. Absolutely. So, in the vein of good vibes, we go <laughs> it's the spoof in the air for me. In the vein of good vibes, we're going to start this off with a little icebreaker, all right? All right so we're going to play Two Truths and a Lie. Two Truths and a Lie. So you know how that work, right? Not really. Okay. I'm going to have to guess which Figure one out which is, is which. the lie. All right. All right? Three things. Three things. One lie. One got to be a lie. Yep. All right. All right, so... I'm going to make it kind of easy for you because if you're paying attention, it's going to be easy. But if you wasn't paying attention, Ooh, it's still going to be regular. Oh, not you putting me in a hot seat. Okay. All right, all right, bet. So, boom. So, look, the first one I'm going to start off with is um, I'm a heavy drinker. I'm in the studio every day. Mm -hmm. I got, like, 500 unreleased songs. Damn. Okay. So, if I'm using my context clues based on the conversations we had off camera, I feel like I know what the answer would be. Right. But 500 unreleased songs is no OD. No exaggeration at all. All right. So, I'm going to say the lie is that you're a heavy drinker. Oh, so you was paying attention. I was yeah, paying attention. Was we paying here. Attention. We I here. Ain't gonna lie. Before that, before that, <laughs> I'm like, yo, I don't even drink. I got the amigos we in the We social like, drinkers on this side. Right Y'all got me feeling crazy. So, okay, hold on. 500 unreleased. So you really have 500 unreleased songs? For probably more. <laughs> Cause it is, it's scattered. It is, some people got it over there in Brooklyn in one studio. Some people got it in, in the Bronx in another studio. Okay. Uh, once I get everything in one hard drive, it'll uh -huh. probably be more than that. Okay. And not only did you say that, but you also said that you're in the studio every day. Every day. So now you don't clearly have 500 songs out. So how do you choose what songs you put in out and what songs you keeping in tuck? So as of right now, I'm working more as a team. I'm not. I'm not working as like just Dion wakes up one day and just f figures, yo, let, let him drop this song and he gonna drop it. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to move like that anymore because mm. I feel like I feel like, you know, shit getting serious. I feel mm -hmm. like shit getting serious. So now it's like we really moving as a team. We trying to structure everything for real, for real. So as of late, I've been um, you know, doing me meetings with the team in the studio. Picking everybody's brain, like, yo, what you think about this? What you think about that? You know, mm. like, I just go home at night and I think about it, like, yo, what am I supposed to do for this song? What That song, I write bullets. Right. I put that in my notes, and then I go I go to the team and holler at them, like, yo, what you think? Okay. And, we, and we work as a group. Okay, so now with this project coming, Walk Away, is this something that you put together based on the stuff that you already had, or is this all new stuff? So the the funny thing about Walk Away is, like, people people think it's a project. It's a single Oh, that's T. I did not know that. It's a single. Okay. It's a single. And 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 um, um, we working we working really really hard on this single because it's like, as of late, like I just been I don't know like 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 music kind of like it's just been it's been up and downs and it's just it's a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. It's mm -hmm. been you know I've been kind of turned off by it a little bit. Mm. Not gonna lie. But um, but you know my fans keep me focused on this shit heavy. Like mm -hmm. without them, I don't know where I'd be for mm -hmm. real, for real. Like, but they keep me heavy on this shit. So it's like the more I see fans interacting, and the more I see, I'm like, nah, bro, I gotta keep this shit going. I have to. So we are gonna see how this shit play out, man. You know, in the future. Mm -hmm. But um, but at the end of the day, for this walk away song, we doing we you know we going hard on the video. We actually showing this, showing some of the scenes of the video today, like. <laughs> Using, oh, we, we using hold today. on. Let me find out. Word. I'm about to make a cameo yeah. in the video. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so um, and right now that's just like, that's that's either is walk away is either gonna be two things. It's either gonna be the beginning of the rest, mm -hmm. 
for the end, bro. We're going to see what we're going to see. Okay, well, hopefully it's not the end because we're just getting started. Like we were talking about before, you have you not out there. We're going we gonna to get into it. But I really hope that this isn't the end because I actually really fucked with your music. I appreciate um, that. Thank so you. let's take it from like when you first started. So right, right. where are you from for the people that don't know? All right, so for the people that don't know, because a lot of people do mistake me for like people from, the, like they thought I was from the Bronx. Like I'm not from the Bronx. I'm from Washington not Heights. not from the Bronx. Okay. Washington Heights, Manhattan. You from Washington Heights, mm -hmm. all right? And Hotel what? Manhattan. So, what was that like growing up in Washington Heights? So, if you go on Google, if you look it up, mm -hmm. it's called Little Dominican Republic now, like right? On Google Maps. So that for me, that should tell oh, you. That Google, should tell you that. most. Like it's literally like growing up in a Little Dominican Republic. I knew that, but I didn't know they like made it official. Official, official. To okay. Show. And it's crazy because like that, you you even walk like drive through, walk through whatever, and you'll see some stores that will even say like like their title or like mm -hmm. the, the store title, the store name or whatever. Mm -hmm. It'll be in Spanish. Mm -hmm. like it's crazy. Like, yeah, I went to school in Manhattan. Like, I'm from Brooklyn, but I went to school mm -hmm. in Manhattan. But I went to school with a lot of people who are from uptown. Okay. So I was uptown with them. I've been in Dykeman. I've like, I know no, how like, that goes. Overseas, One train line, like all of that. So I know how that is. Now, my question to you. So you grew up in a Dominican household. Mm -hmm. Were you listening to like Dominican music? Were you listening to hip hop? Yeah, listening so to look, a lot of people don't know this. I haven't even spoke about this, but. um, For the people that don't know, my, my biggest influencer with this music shit is my mother. That's really? my biggest influencer because your mother makes music. No, so look, this oh. is why. So I, so my mom, when she was, when she, when I, when, you know, when she was pregnant, she had me in the womb. She always mm -hmm. just thought it in her head, like, nah, my kid is gonna be something big. My kid gonna be something mm -hmm. big. She just always thought that, right? So, um, she would play like she read something on an article. I guess one day she would play like Beethoven music and stuff like that, like real mm -hmm. classical, oh, you know, that. type of stuff, like next to the belly. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, bro. I guess it worked. Cause so when I came, but look, look, I so look, I can, I come out. She's telling me stories. This I don't know if it's fully, fully, you know. But this is coming to my mom's mouth, so I, be, I'm, I believe it. <laughs> uh -huh. My mom not gonna lie to me about right. something. You feel me? So she like, she like, even as a baby, I would watch music videos on. Like she would put, put the TV on, and I would watch music videos more than I would watch anything else. Like even cartoons. Like I would just watch. So you was always like in tune. And then when I'm, and then peep this, when I'm four years old, five years old. I don't even ask for toys, no nothing. I ask her for a mic. I ask her for a mic. Mm. Put, put on the bottom, you, you, like it had like a tape recording set. Uh huh. Like you could record yourself. So you and was all making that. music. What you was? I was trying. You, you was trying to make music. Okay. So are you are you a karaoke guy? Like you like being on the mic? Nah, you like no? no. I, I, when, so when, when it's karaoke, like I don't, I don't, I never done that. So I wouldn't know if I like it or not. I'm not gonna be okay. Me, but performing, yeah, that's my shit. So at the that's time, you was mad young. You had the mic and all of that. What, what was you doing? You was making your own music. I, at I, five, I, six? I probably was rapping some shit that I heard on the radio or something. I would okay. Because uh, my uncles, they they always used to tell me like when I was growing up, I used to memorize songs like this. Mm -hmm. Like it was easy for me to memorize. They hit songs. you with, the, I like, wish you memorized that math like you memorized. No, they songs. was on that. They was on that heavy. Especially my mom, she really wanted me to go to school route. Mm -hmm. But once I, you know, got of age and stuff, and I really realized where I wanted to go with this mm. life shit. I ain't gonna lie. For me, I went my route. Okay. So, like, my mom, you know, she she don't resent the music, but she knows that regardless, she mm -hmm. gotta be proud of me. Mm -hmm. She is proud of me, and she mm -hmm. loved me. That's And that's what matter at the end of the day. But was, like, is the music that you're making now the music that, like, you were listening to at home? Like, is that, like, music that your mother condones? Or growing is that... Up, growing up, yeah, my mom put... um She played a lot of... All right, so f at first it was really just all Spanish music. It yeah. was just bachata, salsa, mm -hmm. um, old classical, you know, um back in the yard type of music that mm -hmm. they would play over there. It was a whole lot of that growing up. Mm -hmm. um No, nah, but, uh, but, but one thing for certain, though, like, my mom's Spanish and all that, but she loved that R&B. Like, okay. Nah, she yes. loved it. She like, loved love it. She, jam. bro... She used to play everything when it comes, bro, from genuine all the way to the boys to men, from, 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 bro. I'm, I'm, when I'm telling okay. you, everybody, everybody. Mm -hmm. So I was in tune with that. Okay, so what got that. you in tune to like the hip hop? Like, how did you start Future. making. Future. Interesting. Okay. Future. So what did that look like? What was, how did like you hearing Future go into you actually like making your own music? When was that? Um, I, I, so I started making my own music officially. Like I, I hit the booth and all that for the first time, maybe like five years ago, but I ain't do, I ain't kept, keep going with it. Mm -hmm. Like I just, I, I made a couple songs and shit. I liked it, but I said, fuck this shit. Went back to, you know, mm -hmm. getting money on I, I, So I said, fuck that shit. Put that shit to the side. And then my, my big bro, one of my big bros, he come home off of doing a bid 
and he was the one that really really got me on my shit like mm. he, he i'm in miami at the time when he come home so he looking for me on the block and shit he don't see me on the block niggas tell him like nah he don't be on his bullshit he be out of town ah, ah. he like where so he goes to Miami. He go find me in Miami. No, like he wasn't playing. Yeah, he go find me in Miami. He heard, cause he heard a couple of the tracks that mm-hmm. that I had for me gave to a couple of the homies and shit. And I guess they played it for him. So he like, nah, this kid got sh- some shit. Mm-hmm. So so he pulls to Miami. He tell me like, yo, bro, you gotta get on your shit, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I came over here to tell you like, you, I need you to come to New York. Mm. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm like, damn, bro. Like I'm making money out here. I'm living good. I'm chilling. You feel me? It's <laughs> Miami. Mean. Think about it, like. I'm, yeah, I'm chilling right here, but he like nah, but we got we got something to do with this shit. Right, the lifestyle I'm sure it was given, but you were sleeping on yourself, talent wise. Definitely was sleeping on myself. For okay, sure, for sure. so did you feel like it was worth it once you came out here and you actually started Not at like first. no? So at what point did you feel like it was worth like still? <laughs> that's, I ain't gonna lie. One of the homies said when they started paying for them features, that's a good that's, one. That's, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. But now, nah, no cap, bad memories was really it for me. Bad memories was the one for me. Like okay. I ain't even gonna lie, it ain't even have to do with no money, no nothing. Once I saw the the impact, mm-hmm. once I saw impact, once I saw that I could give that, mm-hmm. I said, I right, but okay. Speaking of impact. You had a song that you had posted on YouTube. Right now, it's the first YouTube video that you had, and it was um, Forever Do Boy. Forever Do Boy. And right now, that has like 52K on YouTube, and a lot of people are in the comments saying that it was very inspirational, and it was something that gave them kind of like hope, and they thought about people that they lost when they heard sure. the songs. And so I think that that also proves the impact. Absolutely. Um Walk us through that process of that song for the people that may have not heard it. Okay. So so the same big bro I was telling y'all about, mm-hmm. um, the same one that pulled up to Miami and pulled me by my ears and said, yo, you better get in that booth. Mm-hmm. For me, that's the same one that I lost a couple sorry. months later. I get to New York, we do our thing. Literally two months later on his birthday, for me, he, I, I lose him in my arms. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He took his last breath in my arms. So, you know, that traumatized me, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. It really, really traumatized me. At first, I ain't even want to go back to the music. But then, you know, mm-hmm. two months passed. A nigga get his mental back. You know, I'm starting to, you know, start, you know, little by little strengthening up. So, once I, you know, got my strength back, I got back in that booth and it was lit. Mm-hmm. So, for me, it was just forever dope boy. After that, it was bad memories. And then from there, it's just, I just kept going with it. So, when, you know... Unfortunately, now we're kind of in a time where we're experiencing a lot of tragedy, especially like in our generation. What are some things that helped you get through that in order to like push yourself and motivate yourself to keep? Yeah, nah, nah, shit? yeah, because that, that's a good question. Because I ain't gonna lie, people from you know, type of shit that I'm from, like it'd be hard, it'd be hard, bro. And you know, like it's, it's, it's a lot of stress a, a, a young and gotta go through at an early age. Mm-hmm. And people don't really see how, how difficult it may be to keep a positive mindset through it all. Right. So, like with me, with me, it's just I, I'm, I'm a deep person, I'm a Pisces, so I overthink mm. everything. So, it's like it's hard. Okay. Like, it's really, really hard for me sometimes. I'm not even gonna lie. And you know, for the people out there watching that may have the same struggles as me, bro, it's not hard. It's not. It's not. You, you don't. You're not less of a person if you you know hit up one of your people that you actually love and trust and ask. And, you know, talk to them, invent to them. Cause if you don't got if you don't got what I got, which is music, I don't really know how else a person could actually vent for real, for yeah. real. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, you could you could paint, you could be a, a sculptor, whatever. But like, can you really express your your real real emotion for real like that? Like, I know it is hard to really keep that in you. So, for me, it is, uh, I feel like talking to your people definitely helps out. Yeah, I think so, too. But I also think that being vulnerable enough to do that isn't always easy either. So, like, as easy as it is for us to say that and, like, you know, a lot of us, we say, like, check on your strong mm-hmm. friends and, like, make sure you're being open. I don't think it's also, like, in turn that easy to open up sometimes nah, because fact. you may not know how it's going to be received. So sometimes it's, it's kind of like a weird space between, like, <laughs> being open and, I guess, being in a space to receive it. Yeah, facts. So you said something that I thought was very interesting. Um, you said that this was behind the scenes when you were shooting the video with DDOT. Okay. You said that grievance is basically the reason why a lot of the young niggas are the way that they are right now. Um, can you go into that a little bit? Because I feel like that relates to what we're talking about right now, too. Facts, facts. So, shout out Didi. Chosen Ones. Go watch that if y'all haven't watched that. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Nah, no funny shit. That's I'm glad y'all pointed that out because no funny shit. That's really a problem. I feel like in, in nowadays society, like all everybody coming up angry, like angry as fuck. And some people don't even know what they angry about for real, for real. Like right. some people don't even really go through shit. But for the ones that do go through shit, like you know, and really, really got shit that they you know deal with every day, mm-hmm. like that, that right there, which is you know deaths, obviously nowadays. Mm-hmm. Um. That that's that's not an easy thing to go through, bro. Like that losing somebody that you really love, that's not something easy to go through. Like right. I went through it. I'm telling you something that I know. You know what I mean? I've been through it. I I know how that feel. So, it like if I could give a perspective on it, mm. I would say like trying to stay positive is like the cliche shit. I'm not gonna tell you the cliche shit. I'm gonna tell you type of shit that I didn't did. Right. I'm gonna tell you the negative and the positives. The negatives, I went, I went drugs for me heavy, like I was smoking heavy, taking perks for me, and I'm not gonna lie, bro, that was the negative side of me. I really, I fucked up my life doing shit like that because it really, it got me to a point where it's like I was trying to depend on something that I never really needed in in the first place. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then on the positive side, I got the music. You feel me? And I got shit that I do that I, do, you know, people depend on me. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So mm-hmm. I take care of the people that I take care of, and it's like. I do that. Right. And that keep me going. So with the music or with whatever you feel like you fuck you got in your in your life, who you know, whoever whatever you do, you just gotta really, really focus up and really feel you got what what's that saying? Like if you find something that you love doing, it's not really work. Right. You feel me? Like if you in this life you got one of these to live, right? So in this life you gotta like really, really find out what you love. Mm-hmm. Find out what you love. Go for what you love. And I feel like that'll keep your mind off of certain pains. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's certain pains that you can't just forget. I'm sorry. That you're not going to forget that shit. Mm-mm. I'm sorry, bro. You can <laughs> try to suppress can, it, but it's going to find its way back shit, out But you somehow. ain't going to forget. You mm-hmm. ain't going to forget. Feel me? So, so you were just talking about how you were drinking and doing drugs and stuff. I'm very glad to hear that you've gotten over that. But I know that you're still around a lot of young guys who are doing the same thing. Um even in the BTS that I was just talking about, you could see them like they doing drugs, they drinking, they doing all of that at such a young age. And do you feel like, you know, you're someone who's older than them. Is there anything that you tell them? Do you try to like discourage <laughs> them from doing that? Or is it something that you just kind of, nah, nah, you're I, a bystander. I, I, I do, I do. But like on some like, not pushy shit though. You can't be that nigga. Like I will never want to be that nigga. Like yo, yeah. who the fuck this nigga think he talking to? Like who this nigga? Like you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't I step ha- on toes out here. I ain't trying to step on toes. Even though I I might have more knowledge than a person, or I might have mm-hmm. more money than a person, or I might have more talent than a person. Regardless mm-hmm. of whatever it is, I'm a humble dude. So it's like it's none of that. I'm gonna treat you like how you treat me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And that's how it, that's how respect get earned. And you feel me? Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just be when I see little niggas doing thing bro i be telling them like yo bro that's not really you know the way i be trying to steer them away like yo listen do this do that I, I. yeah but at the end of the day i can only do so much bro i'm not nobody pops for me no i know it's just sometimes it's like damn to see like 14 15 year olds they doing the drugs they doing all of that i feel like it's just getting younger and younger yeah, yeah. and sometimes i wonder if there were more people stepping in to kind of like coach yeah. them and for like sure. kind of steer them in the right direction if it would be any different for sure, for sure. um nah, you but i understand i understand where you're coming from though because yeah. nobody wants to be that guy and now they don't want to be around you no more because they feel like you always that. it's on not even them. about that because i'm a type of, i'm a real nigga so it's like at the end of the day i'm gonna be real regardless so if i see something wrong in front of me i'm gonna point out that it's wrong okay regardless. so you pointing it out you just not staying on it yeah yeah i'm just not staying on it okay i'm just not stuck on it i'm not repeating it i'm not you know what I mean? okay but you yeah. still gonna let them know that that shit not it okay so so speaking of the collab you did with Didi, how did that come about? Because you don't do a lot of collabs. Um, you yeah, yet, 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 you yet. don't do got, a lot I of collabs. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, yeah, I got a lot of shit. Okay, on so yes, you don't have a few collabs. Nah, the ones that you like, do, like, like, like I said, I got 500 unreleased, bro. So you gotta think about it. Not all of them shit. <laughs> oh, be so just, all the just features me by didn't, myself, like, you know what I mean? All the features didn't make it out. I'm sorry, yeah, but if I did a song with you or you kept that in your stash of 500 songs, <laughs> you'll be tight. You'll be tight. <laughs> Absolutely, because what are you trying to say? La 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 la. I ain't trying to say nothing. I fuck with all artists that I've ever fucked with. No cap. It's just you feel me. I just got my way they of doing my business. Nah, mm. I just got my way of doing my business. I got a way of how I want my music out when I want my music out. Okay. There's certain songs that make make like belong. If you understand what I'm okay. trying to say, you know. What I mean? You did say that. You did say that. All right. So back to Didi. How did that collab come about? Uh so nah. Like we we always was like. 
like his people was always like kind of cool and connected with my people. Like mm-hmm. it was for me, it was never no. It was just for me because at the end of the day, we we live blocks away from each other. If, if you talking on some like hood standpoint, mm-hmm. you feel me? We blocks away. Like so, it was always we knew each other. You know what I mean? But um, the one that really really started the connection was Ra, my son Ra Young. Shout out Ra Young. Um, he he was the 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 first one that got me on a feature. And mm-hmm. then, and then you know, after that, it was just like it. It just happened naturally because he Didi was just always you know bumping my music, and he always was telling him like, "Yo, we gotta get him on the uh uh, we gotta get." So I guess I guess Ra, you know, hit me up one day and like, "Yo, pull up to the uh uh," mm-hmm. and we just got it done. Yo, for real, it was just love. It was love. Like it me. looked like it. I yeah. mean, first of all, the song's fire, but Appreciate it looked that. like Thank it. You. Even watching y'all make the video, just watching the energy from mm-hmm. the video, it looked like it y'all just, genuinely yeah, like had good vibes. The, the way it looked in the video is that is how it happened. Mm-hmm. World tour. It was just straight up love. Hood shit like, mm-hmm. what up? Ah, ah, let's link up. Ah, ah, that shit look. But bro, we made a fire video mm-hmm. for me. So let's get into these other features. Like, <laughs> who who can we expect? Can you give some? <laughs> can you throw some hints in there? Like, who can we expect to hear you collab with soon? Because um, there's a feature that I'm literally just waiting on. I don't know why it hasn't. What feature you waiting on? No, I want you to tell me first because it might be on the list. <laughs> I but I but um. Damn, I got a couple features. Um, let's see who I I got. I got a I got a song with with, with Justo Baby. Okay. I got some fire shit right there. Oh, I got a song. Oh, oh, shout out Rondo SP. Shout out Rondo SP. That's bro. That's bro right there. He got he got some shit to say. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. He got some shit to say. I got a song with him. That shit fire. Um, nah, yeah, I got I got a couple songs with. Just know I got a couple songs with people that like got my type of genre. So you're okay. gonna you're gonna hear you're gonna hear that. You're gonna hear that. Okay. So in your type of genre, I would definitely throw Stunner in there. Okay. Um, and being from Washington Heights and stuff, I know you've been asked this already why I haven't done time, a collab <laughs> already. But you know what's funny? I was listening, you have a song with Alpha. And I, I was listening to a song with Alpha. That was like on like two Project yeah, that's, ago. yeah, that's throwback. That's throwback. Shout out Alpha. Um, that's throwback right there. And Alpha know. got a song with Stunner mm-hmm. also. He do. And I was like, damn, it just like I could just hear <laughs> y'all two working well. Nah, yeah, I get that a lot for real. I get that. And a it's lot like, damn, why hasn't this happened yet? I know before you said it just yeah. when it happens, it's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you a nigga that you feel me, whenever it happens, it happens. Everything mm-hmm. is supposed to happen when it's supposed to happen. You know right. what I mean? Like, I don't force nothing. You know, okay. But, but at the end of the day, like, like I, I'm, I'm also a person that believes that it'll be a good song too. Don't get yeah. me wrong, that should have sound sure. fire for sure. I know, I know it will. But like I said, if it happens, it happens. Okay, so what's your relationship like with the artists in New York? Honestly, I just I try to keep a neutral type of relationship. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, like for me, like I said, I'm from uptown Manhattan. You know, there's a lot of shit going on, Bronx, yeah. Brooklyn. For me, Harlem. It's a lot of shit going on, you feel me? And mm-hmm. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm quick to, you feel me? Like, yo, listen, understand this. Like, I'm outside, but yo, bro, I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on. Like, <laughs> like, word, like, you feel okay. me? I don't know. You feel me? I don't really be knowing. So what the you fuck not going involved. On, really. Your name is Bennett, and you not in it. Yeah, is what you're saying. shit like that. Shit like that. And it's okay. been, and it's been, it's been misconception out, out here in the streets. Like for me, my, my uh, where what, I'm from. What kind of misconceptions yeah, has it people, been? Like, like, like where I'm from, and the people that I be with, like they, they be thinking that, I'm, that we some other people, like. No oh, cut. Really? Yeah, like word. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. We not mm. I mean we're not even affiliated with nobody else. We we us. You know what I mean? Who's we? Me and my team. Me and my people. Me and my crew. Me and my hood. Who's your hood? Washington Heights, uptown my hand. The whole Washington Heights. The whole Heights. Washington Heights. Okay. I the hear you. The whole Washington Heights. All right. So like I was telling you before, I feel like you have like zero to no social media presence. Like yeah. little to no social media presence. Excuse me. Like I feel like you have your one picture on instagram right now promoting right walk now, away yeah, yeah, facts. you got your little highlights but like you're not active on twitter you have like two things on tiktok like what yeah. what's going on with that i i nah the, you know what's crazy that's so crazy that you mentioned that because my team was just on my ass literally in the other room mm-hmm. about that like literally we, they was just talking about, about you not posting on social media yeah yeah, yeah. what's what's going why don't you yeah, yeah, yeah. As, <laughs> as y'all should be, as yeah, y'all should be, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Why? I like, it's like, I right, look, I'm gonna tell y'all the, the real, like, listen, before this music shit, look, uh-huh. I never thought I was gonna do this, bro. Let's you, get that straight. You never thought you was gonna remember, make music? Remember what I said earlier in the interview? I was in Miami doing my motherfucking thing, I was not worried about nothing. Yeah, you did say that. 
I was not worried about nothing. I was taking care of my mother. I was taking care of my people. I was taking care of myself. Mm-hmm. That's what mattered. Mm-hmm. For me. So I never thought I was going to really get in the booth, take this shit serious. I, I, like, I'm, so and what I'm trying to say is I was never an Instagram nigga. Like, <laughs> I was never social okay. media. I so was never on none of that. I was never on none of that. Just because okay. of the way that I am, the way that I move. You mm-hmm. feel me? But... But now it's like once I got really, really like numbers, like real, real numbers and real, real fans and real, real support. Mm-hmm. When I when I when I peeped that, I'm like, damn, nah, I gotta get on this shit. I gotta get on this shit. So I got heavy on the Instagram. My Instagram, you feel me? My shit, my shit be blowing up when I really, really be posting for real and I get consistent with mm-hmm. it. My shit, my shit go crazy. I'm not gonna lie, but it's just now it's just I, I got a I got a different flow, different different view of things, mm-hmm. and I know I gotta be on. All of that shit, not just okay. Instagram. You feel me? So yes. we're gonna we gonna see like if, if 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 niggas, you know, keep on going after walk away, there is gonna be a whole lot of You everything. keep saying if, yes, niggas will keep going after <laughs> walk away. So did you delete everything on your Instagram because of walk away, or is that like a marketing strategy? Yeah, or yeah, I'm, yeah? I'm not, I just I just want people to pay attention to this song. Okay. That's it. I want people to pay attention to this song. Um you know, I got a lot of other content, and my Instagram was full of pictures and stuff like that. I don't pay attention to that. I pay attention to this song real quick. Okay, everything else was just kind of like else, a distraction. Everything else is gonna happen out of love, out of out of out of how, when it's supposed to happen. Out right. Of Godspeed. Just okay. For me, but that song people need to pay attention. So to. So what you just said about you not really being like an Instagram nigga like that, and you not really expecting to be a part of this lifestyle really yeah. makes sense. And I think it translates to your music videos too, yeah. because I realized that in your music <laughs> videos, like they're all like lifestyle videos. Mm-hmm. Like I could tell even before I like heard you say this, that even if you weren't making music, you would still kind of have like a rap star, rap star lifestyle yeah. without being a rap yeah. star. So Fair. is that intentional? Is that like, because, <laughs> yo, listen, I ain't even going. No, on. I know that it's your lifestyle. No, okay, so maybe I should rephrase the question. I get that it's natural, mm-hmm. yes, but like, there's no like storyline in the music videos. It doesn't look like it's something that's like, okay, so that's gonna we change. Don't have, okay, that's gonna change because. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I tried it once for me. I tried it a couple times, matter of fact, but I tried it once for real, for real with Day Ones. Oh, day, okay. ones day Ones is really, really the type of, mm-hmm. c- the only really cinematic type of vibe that I gave the mm-hmm. video and shit mm-hmm. like that. But, but you're right. I, most of my videos really do be lifestyle videos. I don't, I, it's not that we do it on purpose. It's just that my lifestyle be so fast and so like, that's really yeah, my life. Yeah, I'm like, like, I wonder if this That's really is my like... life now, for real, that's really my life. So it's like, that, what, what you see is really, you know, mm-hmm. what you get. And you always use the, well, not always, because you have used a couple other ones, but mm-hmm. you use the same videographer a lot of the time. Uh-huh. She right there. She oh, the, she hey. the building. Okay. Shout out Bo Mugs. That's Bo, okay. She the okay. I see you. Because I'm like, wow, he must really, really like this videographer because I'm Love seeing her. the same name over and over and over. Okay, so how important is <laughs> it as an artist to really lock in with a videographer that you like? Whose work you like? Super important, man. In my opinion, mm-hmm. super important. Like, it's not even just videographer. It's also producer. It's also engineer. It's also cover artist. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. it, it get deeper. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, yo, bro, when it comes to that vibe, it's that vibe. Right. Like, sometimes it's not even about the talent. Like, people get talented over time. For real. If you really, really work at something, you'll get better and better. Okay. You feel me? So, so it's like, it's like it's, it, it just comes to the simple fact of, where that vibe, where that vibe is, you know what I mean? Like okay. with, with, with that person. So and you're that vibe with Bo Mugs is amazing, obviously. You okay, see, right. And Bo is in the building, so clearly. <laughs> so wait, so you're willing to like work with somebody like as they're still perfecting their craft if you vibe with them? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. I, just to give you an example, mm-hmm. not to make my sounds make myself sound like any way, but I didn't I didn't really mention anybody that's on when I, when you when you asked with me the for features? features. Yeah. I, I mentioned that. I mentioned niggas that's on my type of time and on the come up. You feel I noticed that because mm-hmm. that's you know that's that's where I'm at in life right now. When when it comes to the point where it's like I'm fucking with big artists and shit like that, mm-hmm. I'm gonna give niggas flowers because mm-hmm. that's just the person that I am. Okay, but right I like now that. I don't really got too much of that. You dig what I'm saying? Right now in the arsenal is people that's just like me doing mm-hmm. their motherfucking thing in the trenches, and I respect shit like that because that's what I'm. Well, that's what I'm on. Period. Okay, so you was just talking about engineers and producers and stuff. Is there anybody that you've been working with that you want to shout out that you really whose work you really like? Moise and Opac. 
Okay. Those are the, those two engineers. Those are really the two only two engineers that touch my voice in, for a minute. Why? Like, like and, what makes a good engineer? Vibe. For me, I'm <laughs> everything only, is I'm only, I'm only I'm only telling you what I feel. You feel okay. me? I can't speak for nobody else. Okay. Me is vibe. I'm a big so vibe no skills, person. Just I'm a vibes. vibey person. Like that's what it is <laughs> with me. Like yo, I walk in a room, I notice everything, I peep everything. I, okay. You feel me? I feel everything. I'm okay. big on that. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, so that's it's like, very important, especially yeah, so it's in like, this industry. Especially with the music, though, because mm-hmm. this is what I want to do for my life. This is my living. Mm-hmm. You understand? This is mm-hmm. what I want to be for my life, for real. This is how I want to like like provide for my family. Right. You dig? So it's like, damn, I got to take that serious. I got to make sure that the people around me is, is who, the, who who needs to be around me. You know right. what I mean? I got to listen to God. You feel me? Because it's like, I got to, their diet is not just what you eat. It's also the people you around. It's also the things you watch. It's also what you read. A word. You yep. understand? Mm-hmm. So it's like, you got to know who you around. Mm-hmm. So how do, you, how do you protect your energy and who you're around? Like, what kind of thing? I know you say you're big on vibes, but sometimes you can't really control you, people you around control, you. Yeah, so how do you protect your energy and just make sure that you're keeping it as positive as possible in an industry like this one? It'd be hard because, like I told you, I'm a Pisces, so I overthink shit. Okay, let's cut the Pisces stuff. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not an astrology girl. I gotta think shit with, oh, but look. I'm an overthinker too, and I'm an Aries. The best sign, you see it. Okay, okay. So shout out, it Aries. may be the Pisces in you. I don't know, but okay, mm-hmm. you're an overthinker. So as from one overthinker to another, how mm-hmm. do you make sure that you're keeping that energy good, and you're not in a situation where you have to keep overthinking? Um, when I get when I catch my alone time, mm-hmm. when I catch my alone time, that's when I really like. Yo, let me roll this blunt up. Let me think. Let me feel me. Take a take a deep breath for me, mm. and then that's when I start paying attention to certain things, and I just uh, I I break everything down in my head, and I try to you know now 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 I'm planning shit. Like I'm planning shit in my head. Like okay, I'm a I'm gonna go this way with this way, and this way with that way, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna treat this person this way, and I'm gonna treat this person that way. Because at the end of the day, you can't you can't give your all. No. You can't give your all sometimes, not even sometimes, most of the time. Like, for me, because there's, there's times that, you feel me, people are not really with you or for you. Yeah. You feel me? So you got to you gotta just, you know, know that and yep. go with the motions and, and just protect yourself as much as you could. But also also be positive and be nice about it. Be 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 a respectable human being about it. You feel me? A lot of people just don't don't really got that in them nowadays. It's mm-hmm. like now people just nasty and people pride themselves on being nasty now. It's shit nasty. <laughs> yeah, I hate that for them. So moving back into the artist's music space, you drop all of your music on SoundCloud, which I think is very Facts. interesting Facts. considering Facts. like I'm the stigma uh, behind like SoundCloud rappers and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. So why do you choose to keep Putting your music out on SoundCloud. Facts. And I'm going to always put my music out on SoundCloud. Y'all hear it? Y'all heard it here. I'm Why? That shit always going to be on SoundCloud because I don't forget where I'm from. I don't okay. forget where I came from. There was a time that the only the only way I could listen to new music is through SoundCloud because I ain't have no breath for no iTunes. I ain't have no credit card. I ain't have no debit card. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I know, like, damn, bro, fuck, like, damn, there's people out here like, damn, I got I can only listen on SoundCloud. I can right. Only, or I can only listen on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So you feel me? Those are two music platforms. Music be coming in clutch yeah, when yeah, you don't yeah. have Apple Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I definitely make sure all my music is on that shit. So, both of them. So what do you think about people who talk about like the SoundCloud rappers and like, what do you think about that whole just stigma in general? Because that's something that has been like. <laughs> I mean, everybody got to come up. Everybody got to come up, bro. Everybody got to come up. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. For me, I started on SoundCloud too. Look. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I didn't say anything nah, negative nah, about it. I just want to know what you think. <laughs> but but nah, but nah, no funny shit. Like mm-hmm. it's just everybody got their start. Everybody, you know, not everybody is savvy enough to just be able to put all of this shit on all platforms at first. Some people don't even know that that's even a possibility. Some people think that they can't even do that if they don't got a whole team around them or if they don't got a real right manager or somebody. Like, they feel like they can't do it. Mm -hmm. Feel me? But Mm -hmm. you definitely could. Y'all distro kid, United Masters, shit like that, bro. Feel me? Go TuneCore, I think, is another one. Feel me? Go look out them publishing sites. Go look up, I mean, them publishing sites. You feel me? Read on it. So you are an independent artist, right? Now, right? Yeah, that's a fact. Yes. So how has it been navigating like stuff like that, distribution and marketing and all of that kind of stuff when you don't have like a team, like doing it on your own? How has that been? I mean, 
It is difficult because, I mean, I do got a team, but like you said, it, it, it just got real recently, for mm-hmm. real, for real. Like, before that, it was just really me and a couple of my homies trying to do what we do. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. but, um, it, 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 you know, how do I put it? It's like, you got to pay attention to analytics. You got to pay attention to who, who else is dropping. You feel me? You got to you gotta pay attention to... Who you feel you got to pay attention to what you what you say nowadays because you don't even know oh, feel yeah. me you say the wrong thing you now you got beef with somebody <laughs> like it's just you got it's, beef yeah, you cancel yeah, yeah. You this feel me? like it's just, it, it's a lot of shit it's a lot of shit you feel me it's stressful sometimes but nah bro like I just I don't I don't try to let it be stressful you know what I mean I try mm-hmm. to take it so the way I'm supposed to take it like like I said before I don't feel like this is work mm-hmm. I love this shit mm-hmm. without music I don't know where I would be right now no funny shit mm-hmm. so. Like, I just, I treat this shit like, you know, like I, something that I love. I mm-hmm. just keep going with it. You feel me? I try to stay positive through it all. And I just, you know, I try to see what my homies think of this, that, and the third. And mm-hmm. I try to make an executive decision. Would you consider signing? I would consider it. I would consider it. But, you know, that's not something that I'm really, really. Okay. That's fair. But I would consider it, though. So you um were on our Drilloween playlist for Facts. October. Facts. And there I were other that. artists Whoa. like Sugar Hill Kim and Cash Cobain, Essential C. And and um they were on there. Dope, dope playlist. If y'all haven't checked it out, check out the Talk of the Town Drilloween playlist. Facts. We also have a All Thankful fire. for the Baddies playlist out for November. But All yes, fire. so there's so many fire artists out there, including yourself, who made it on the playlist. Who are you listening to right now? On the come up? Um Let's do both. Let's do like three you're doing, you're listening to on the come up, and, and three, three you're listening to. Yeah. So the three on the come up, top three on the come up, is is, is Boston Richie still considered come up? Um, I would say. So, mm. so, so mm. Boston Richie would probably be number one. Okay. Boston Richie would be number one. Um, I listen to Didi. Okay, that's. I, they, they, y'all would have known that already, dog. Yeah, I, I was about to say I don't know if yeah. I'm willing to let that yeah, one rock. Yeah, yeah. That one don't rock. I right, bet so. So so. Um, Boston Richie. Shout out to Didi, but Shout I want to hear you. Say Boston Richie. Else. Boston Richie. Um. Richie Rose. Okay. Shout out to Richie Rose. Richie Rose. Um. Who else want to come up? I listen to heavy. Oh, um, Nuda. Nuda 05. He signed to Lil Baby. He mm. spoke me up. Okay. Out in Atlanta. I'm not too familiar with his music, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I should check it out? I think so. Okay. I think so. He he got something to say. All right. Yeah, he got something to All say. All right, so people who's on, who you shouting out? Now, the people who who's on, to? people who's on, um, Future. Of course. You No, we're not doing this. You're not That's saying people that we talked about already. That's my idol. No, Kyle. That's my idol. Okay. Um, so I, right, so Future don't count, but, um, so Lil Baby. Low dirt, mm-hmm. little baby, little dirt, and then who else would it be? Cause it really just be little baby, little dirt, and really? future. I swear, I swear. That's I swear. it. I really, cause everything else is R and B. I listen to R and B. I don't listen to trap. All right, so sh- did I say who you listening to? That's a rapper, or did I say who you listening to in general? Cause right. I don't think I said rapper. You're right. You're right. I right, but so then so it would be. I'm gonna still keep little baby and little dirt on there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna still keep a little baby and a little dirt on there. Um, and then after that would be maybe who else? Damn, money bag. Fuck it. Okay, I don't know a, if that's your real answer, but nah, it's not my real answer. Okay. But, but that's just because I was taking too long. <laughs> Oh yeah, I I didn't think so. No shade to my dad, but, but I don't that, know. The I just reason why like, it's so hard is because like I really, really because look, other than that, it would be like the throwbacks that I was telling mm-hmm. you, like like it would be boys and men. But I don't got a favorite. They're, they're not one of my favorites. Okay. Well, you know what I mean, so that's why I can't name one of them. What I would say is. I've been tapped in. I'm on Dominican talk right now. Oh, what? And so, like, I've heard, like, the Tokisha. And I'm, Tokisha. I'm what's the song that I keep hearing? Oh, that's, that's Angel, Angel Dior. <laughs> Angel Dior. I mean, I've been hearing that, too. And yeah, yeah, but he, got, I the, didn't, yo, bro, he got that shit on yes, smash right now. Yes! No, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, it's all like over my clubs, For You page. I'm the seeing, whole DR. Yes. The whole little DR. 42, is that what they call bro, it? Yeah, the, I, the, the, the block that he 
he's from. The block that he's okay, from. Okay, yeah, because I see like all the videos, like all down my for you page that I'm outside. They bumping it. They bumping it in New York on the train in the Bronx and everywhere. I'm like, okay, that shit this is viral. This right shit now. is going up. Viral. So I didn't know if you was gonna mention anybody in that world, but I think they they shit is dope too. Nah, nah, yeah, they shit is very very dope. I, I, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't. And where I'm from, you can't really party without them. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that's 75% of the music right it look there. look like it. You feel me? So it's like, you got to listen to them. It's mandatory. Mm -hmm. But that's why they're not in my favorites, because they're like a mandatory listen. I'm talking about people that I go in my phone, I search up, like, yo, I want to listen to this. You okay. I made this year, because I fuck with it that okay. much. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? I feel like that's a little I different. I hear you. I okay, feel, okay. You feel me? So did you hear, um, did you hear her loss? Did you bump it yet? I didn't listen to the whole shit. I'm Did not you feel like it was a mandatory listen and that's why not you didn't look it up? No, I'm not saying for you, but you just but, said but, like but, but in like a in like a whole viewer's perspective. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like it should have been. I feel like it was fire. You I like feel it? like they walked you like on it? it. I gotta yes, listen to it. I gotta fully sure. listen to that it. That was a collab that I thought worked very, very well together. Right, right. Um and recently. 21 said that he he was on live with Kai Sinat. He mm -hmm. said that he could be Kodak in verses. And I wanted to know what you thought about that. And not only that, I was hoping that you listened to her loss because I wondered if that's something that you thought. <laughs> like, now that he collabed with Drake, it was like, a, oh, I could talk my shit. I mean, shit, now that you got a collab with Drake, it's like, damn, what can you really tell a nigga now? I like, disagree. You, no, <laughs> I disagree. You disagree? I completely, I'm, no, and I agree. And numbers wise, and numbers wise, you can't really, you can't, you can't disagree. Numbers wise. Numbers wise, it's okay. I get the whole, but like, what can you say? You I got a Drake though. collab. But you having a Drake collab don't, inv don't invalidate the songs that Kodak I feel you. got. I, feel I disagree you. with I feel a lot of things that Kodak nah, do but, in but the public. Let me give you my music. opinion though about that though. I'm not gonna lie. Bro. Yeah, we want to hear it. What you think? What you think? Nah, bro. No. <laughs> nah. No. Wait, wait. What? What's the no? Know. Clarify. He, clarify. Clarify. Bro, he not beating Kodak in the. Oh, okay. 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 I just wanted to make sure we was okay. So we here. He not beating Kodak in the. Agreed. Yeah. All right. So if would you do a collab project? Would I do a collab project? Absolutely. You do a collab I project? I already got ideas of who I want to do a collab project with. Who would you do a collab project with? A Boogie. Ooh. A Boogie. A Boogie is definitely one future, but you, is that you? This, this, that's an answer that you already know. Like, you feel me? Like, so yeah, I'm future, like, yeah. I knew you was going to say that. A Boogie, that. A Boogie, definitely. I a will say, definitely. A Boogie, I'm very happy with the music he's been putting out right now because mm -hmm. I was starting to get a little worried for yeah. a little while. Yes. Cause I feel like there was a certain point where he was making music, and I was like, mm, I don't know if this is the really A boogie that out. Yeah, this nah, is not I, the A boogie. I, I, I feel like with. I feel like I know what you're talking about because I was feeling like that a little bit, but not really, really like he was losing it. I felt like he was just going on some like mainstream shit. Like he mm -hmm. was just going, he was just doing too too much mainstream shit. He he forgot. You feel me? What really, really got him on, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened, but he got back to it, though. He did get back to it, and he's doing that melodic stuff. Then you're doing the melodic stuff, too. Mm -hmm. How would you consider, like, what would you classify yourself as? Like, if you had to pick a style of music that you make, what would you consider it? What would I consider it? Yeah. Trap R&B. Trap R&B. Yeah. Trap R&B. Was that, yeah. like, an agreeing damn, or was that, like, a... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah trap on B. That's my okay. Shit. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Okay, so we're gonna play a little game because you just dropped a song called "Differences," mm -hmm. which was also fire, and you dropped the visual to that. That was cute. Right. All Thank right, you. so Appreciate we're gonna play a game, and I basically want you. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Bo. <laughs> I want you to tell me what the difference is between these two things. Okay. I bet. All right. The I first. See what you did there. A super fan and a groupie. A super fan is somebody that just jacks you as a person and as a music or artist, and he's he or she is just gonna be about you because they fuck with you genuinely, mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. A groupie is somebody that's just on you because you on. Mm. So it's like once that fades, you just on me because you because I'm on. I got this chain on me. I got twenty thousand in my pocket. Yeah, that's why. Right, All right but that's okay. That. Yeah. Now tread lightly with this one, cause like I said, I told you where I was from, Bronx and Brooklyn. I right. Bronx, super grimy, super influential, super influential, and I and I love the females from there. 
I love the females. From I said, there. what's nah. the difference? So what? Oh, on, you don't on, think Brooklyn is influential? Wait, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you what I think about Brooklyn though. Okay. So that's the Bronx, and then Brooklyn. Brooklyn is more like their own world. Um, I don't really go there. I've probably been there one time in my life, <laughs> and we tired of they drill shit. I ain't gonna lie. Whoa. I'm speaking. Who's we? We tired of they drill shit. They drill shit is trash. We honestly. as in you speaking for Washington Heights? Because yeah. you can't be speaking for the Bronx. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm not, I can't. I can't. You I speaking can't for speak Washington for the Heights yeah, is yeah, tired of Brooklyn drill? Yeah, yeah. We tired of Brooklyn drill. Well, the Brooklyn might be tired of Washington Heights. So. Fuck it. Everybody got <laughs> opinions. There's opinions everywhere. There's opinions everywhere. All right. As long as you didn't say nothing crazy, that's fine. Shout out to Brooklyn. <laughs> I read Brooklyn shout out, all nah, nah, day. But shout, out, shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out all Brooklyn artists um, you know, doing their thing. All right. Meeting someone online and meeting somebody in person. Meeting in person, you could catch a vibe. <laughs> you can't catch a vibe online? Meeting online, you, can't, you don't really know what the vibe is. You don't know if somebody being slimy. You don't mm -hmm. know if somebody got somebody behind their backs telling them everything to say. Mm -hmm. You don't know nothing. So, like, when you dating, do you prefer to meet the girl you dating online? Or do you prefer to, like, for it to be uh, natural? No, I like ain't you? dating online. You don't date online? Uh, it's so, like, like, if we not linking, it's nothing. Okay, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into that a little later. Yeah. All right, bad swag and not knowing how to dress. Bad swag and not knowing how to dress. All right, bad swag is just you feeling like you know what you're doing and it's just not it. Mm -hmm. Not knowing how to dress could be like you probably can't even afford it. Mm. So you don't That's even deep. you don't even know what to pick because you don't know you you, you might have not been able to afford it before. So you don't even know what to get now that you got money. Mm -hmm. For an example, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So I agree. Okay, talking and dating. Talking, you like. You know, we text, we probably link up, sneaky link, uh, uh, talking, that's link. talking, you feel uh -huh. me? Dating is like, you know, that's more, that's more like a little serious because you like being sensual now. Like, it's like, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a real interaction with the female. Now uh -huh. it's like you're really getting deep in them conversations during them candlelight dinners and shit. You feel me? You get okay. what I'm saying? So like you don't take a, the girls you talking to on candlelight dinners and... It depends. Okay. It depends. Only the ones you feel like you're going to get to the dating stage with. Only the feel, only the ones that I feel like is like worth it. If I'm okay. not here. I'm not here really trying to waste my time or anybody else's time. You understand? Mm -hmm. it's just whoever I feel like is worth it. Okay. Okay. Being inspired by somebody and copying them. Being inspired by somebody is building your craft in your own way, but still being influenced by the peers around you because you know that they doing the same thing you doing so you still listen you still tune in you still you still admire their work mm -hmm. but you get back into what you doing but you do it the way you want to do it still okay. influenced by them like oh shit i like what they did but let me do it like this maybe mm -hmm. you understand okay that's being inspired by somebody and then the other one is what copying copying yeah copying is just yo bro i did that first and you wanted to do it because i did it everything i do but just want to do it too <laughs> okay you and other nyc artists me i feel like i'm honestly coming in with my own style of rhythm with my voice with my flows I really feel like I'm really trying to give something organic, something that hasn't been heard before. Okay. And I pride myself on that. Okay. Um, Other artists in New York, I feel like there's a couple people that can say the same. And I and I would and I I'd I'd, I'd, I'd go with it too. Like I for me, like I'll vouch for it, like yeah, facts. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like there's a lot of people in NYC that just you feel me is saturated. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing over and over again. And I feel like that's what Diddy means by like, damn, we lost it. We trying to bring it back. I, I, like, I guess that's what he means because it's, it's getting a little saturated. Everybody's sounding the same right now. So you agree? Somewhat. Somewhat. Because like I said, there are people I feel like that really, really got some shit to say. And I also feel like they're doing it organically. They for me, but it's just they might not have enough clout that people know exactly what I see. Right. Me? I see it because we've been in the studio together or, or they sent me a couple tracks and I really, really listen to what they saying mm -hmm. you feel me. And they probably, you know, don't have the, the same. That's my problem with that. I feel like it's not that we lost it. I think it's really difficult to say that we lost it when you don't know everything that's out there. I feel and that. I don't think matter of fact now, nah, but but let me let me let me say something though. I feel like we did lose it in a way where it's like the labels and and, and, and just 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 the media in a whole mm -hmm. knows exactly what they're looking for now. Mm -hmm. 
I'm talking about in population. Mm -hmm. Like they're like it's just like everybody knows what they want to search for nowadays. It's really really drill. And and New York is one of the pioneers right now for it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean by oversaturated because since, since people know that drill is, is is the number one thing to do, I feel like there's a lot of people picking up a mic trying to do that just because of that. Mm -hmm. And that's where the, that's where oversaturated comes. I'm not s sincerely saying it that it only happened in New York. It happened everywhere else too. Mm -hmm. You feel but me? But that's part of music at the end of the day. So who's at fault for that though? Because it's kind of it's difficult to say that it's oversaturated when you're in a situation where you're not really looking for people who are doing something different, and you understand the situation that we're in now, where like you said, only one thing uh, is really moving enough uh, to gain traction. Exactly. So it's like, is it not out there? Or do people just want to get their shit hurt somehow? I feel like I feel like. Just if 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 you want to put a blame on somebody, damn! I just like you. You can't put a blame on one person. You got to put a blame on everybody. You got to blame. You yeah, gotta I put don't a blame think it's one person. Watching. But is it like the industry? Is it the artists? Is it the labels? Honestly, it depends. It depends is on it the radio. It, it could. Who it knows? could. It could be a little bit of both. I mean, everything. It could be a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. It could be a little bit of one thing. It could be a lot of everything. It could be a lot of one thing. Yeah. You feel me? Everybody's different. Um. Everybody got a different upbringing. Everybody got a different character that they're bringing with them. You understand? So it's like, it's hard to say. Yeah. Okay. An EP and an album. An EP is, I don't, I, I think the, the correct term for it is what? Extended play? Mm -hmm. Right? Extended play. I feel like an EP is more like something miniature, a, pro, a miniature project. Something, okay. something that you're just trying to put out and say, it's listen. Like a little you know, five, six songs. Dig, like, you know, your little, little, little preview of what's to come. Mm-hmm. And then a project or a mixtape, um, I feel like it's something that you're really, really putting your heart in. Like this is really like raw. This mm. is me. This is what I'm I'm feeling. This is what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. For me, y'all jagging it, y'all not jagging it. Whatever. This is me. Okay. Yeah. The influence and so, okay. Well, full transparency. I thought Walk Away was a project. So I was going to ask you what the difference between like the influence and walk away is, but I'm going to alter it a little bit. What's the difference between what we've seen already and what's to come with walk away moving forward? Cause you said that it's going to be, it's going to be amping up. It's changing. So what can we expect then? What's the difference between what we can expect moving forward and what we've seen already? All right. So, so from what we've seen already is just, you've seen, you've seen me not know enough. But working with what I got, mm. that's all y'all seen. Okay, I promise y'all, y'all haven't seen nothing. So like, now you, know, you I, got I feel like, like, you know, like if, if, I, if this is something that's really, really gonna be for me, like y'all gonna understand mm -hmm. what I mean by what I just said. Like y'all really haven't seen nothing. Y'all seen me and my people work with what we have and what we know, mm -hmm. and doing what we could do. Now that we understand a whole lot of other stuff with everything that's happened in the past two months, because mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of shit done happened in the past two months. So with everything that we know now, mm -hmm. it's just we got a whole different approach. We have a whole different mindset. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Okay. If it come, it come. It will. I wish you would speak more positive. For somebody who, talk, who talks about your spiritual and this and that you <laughs> you don't really speak things start speaking into existence it's gonna happen all right we gonna say that here and right, it's gonna right. happen all right so that's the game but we're gonna keep in the same vein of differences you said you don't got my type of bitches on your hit list yeah. what does that mean what's your type of bitch your type let's of say, woman, let's say, let's say woman. I don't like that. Let's say, let's that's woman, since we that's what I say. You know, because like you know, music is a little more free of speech. You know, that's what I. Mean? what I, yeah. I don't know if you heard me, but I just said that we are gonna say yeah, woman gonna because say woman I don't that. like that. What's your type of woman? All right, so my type of woman is like. First of all, you gotta be smart. Okay. A lot of people gonna say she gotta look good first. Mm -hmm. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. It don't even matter if you look good. If you a dummy and you move dummy, you a dub. I don't know if I believe that. You, you don't got to believe it. Because I believe, I believe that, but I think, <laughs> I think all the time when people say that looks don't play a part, I think it's a lie because no, you but, have but, but, to be on, but attractive. You, but, but, but you saying, but you saying, what do I look for? In, like, what, what do I like in a female, right? That's not, I said, what's your you know, type? What, what, like, what my type of female, but, but my type would be somebody that I would go for, right or wrong? Yes, but how would you know somebody's look, smart if you don't if you not attracted to them enough to like talk to them? Nah, to but that's to why them. you gotta you know have conversation first. Conversation gotta be one of the. I, I'm a I'm a talker as you can see. Mm -hmm. So if I feel like you know she looking like 
uh, uh, like, damn, she she caught my eye in any type of way. Exactly. Listen, if she but if she caught my eye in any type of way, that don't even necessarily mean that she's just a, the baddest female in the in the in the vicinity. Okay, it could mean she the flyest. It could mean her hair the nicest. Okay, it could mean her nails is the nicest. She's for me like okay. I just it could be certain things. Okay, so it's like once you grab my attention, my attention's there. Okay. So once my attention is there, corrected, then, then you feel me? So it's like, then well, that's when I pay attention to how you speaking to me back. Like how you giving me your reaction to what I'm telling you. Okay. So now it's like I'm reading you. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So once I read a female, that's when I get to know the vibe. When I get the okay. vibe, oh, it's you like. you and your vibes. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so obviously vibes is on the list. Mm. Smart. Okay. Yeah. And I, right, so now it comes to the obvious. She got, she has to be pretty in the face. That's number one for me. Like. You just. It nah, wasn't but, but number we talk, one. No, but if we, if we, see no, how if you we talking, no, But now we talking on some. Now okay. we talking on some. Moving uh, beyond now we all physical. of that. Right. Now we talking physical. Okay. That's number one if we talking physical. Okay. You feel got me? You. The face. That's number one. Mm-hmm. It gotta be because it's like, feel me? Like she gotta be pretty. She gotta make me look good. It's not even okay. about making me look good. It's just I know that I don't have a problem looking at her all the time. I ain't even go. I'm real, bro. You you gonna hear the blunt shit out of my out of I my think mouth that's always. Bad, buddy. Like yeah, you got you. I don't want to be. I don't want to have a problem. I don't want to have okay. a problem. Like damn, like for me. So you saying that yeah, people bro. don't got smart? Everybody got they. Everybody got their preference. See, my whole thing is for you don't got my type of bitches on your hit list. I'm thinking mm. you about to be like, yeah, my bitches got three cars and they got their oh, own but, place you, you and they got their things own. that they got, or you want to talk about them themselves? I'm talking about anything in general because no, that means if you talk about that, that niggas got, don't got pretty that. bitches who are smart and you know, you vibey. Yeah, because that's what's important. Okay, yeah. I don't feel like you picking up what I'm putting down right now. So what you trying to put down? I'm saying it. like if I if I say like y'all niggas not fucking with the niggas that I'm fucking with. I'm talking about like because my niggas got businesses. No, no, no. But if you talking like, on that, lo- if you talking on that line, then talk on that line. Don't ask me what my type is because I'm gonna give you my honest answer. I am talking on that line. I just quoted you. No, no, no. But I thought it was just a genuine <laughs> question. That's why I went the way I went. Okay. You feel me? That's okay. why I went the way because if it was a genuine question, I'm going that way. Okay. You feel me? I like that. Okay. So is there a difference between the way you talk in your music and then like what actually carries on to your personal life? Wait, say that again. Is there a difference? So, like, do you put th- your personal experiences into your music, or is it like this is my nah, persona, yeah. like nah, my yeah, artist yeah, persona? I do. I do, I do. Yeah, but there is times though. I'm not gonna lie. There is times that it's just creativity, mm-hmm. just due to the fact of what I've been through in the past already. Just right. things that I know, that things that sense. I have been through, but I'm not going through it at the moment. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, it, it don't have to be, like, re- current events. Mm-hmm. For me, it, it could be something that happened in the past. Or it could even be something that happened to one of my closest friends, and I went through it with him. So I feel like we both went through that shit. You feel okay. me? Okay, I feel that. Yeah. Okay, so if you had to name, like, your top three industry baddies, who would they be? Top three industry baddies then changed from the drop to heat, you heard? I As they lie. should. Yeah, they changed. They okay. changed. So I, so not in order. Not okay. in order, not in That's order. That's fine. Um, Ice Spice. She's fine. <laughs> OT. She's fine. Okay. She's How could I lose it? I'm already chose. Sorry. Like. Yo. Like. Yeah, hey. Okay. Yeah, I'll stop playing with you. Stop playing with you, bro. Nah, she's fire, bro. Nah, I always I'm said that, bro. I always shout said out said to Shout out Ice Spice. Nah, I'm sorry, because he said my son want to be a munch. That went crazy. crazy. Stop playing with me. <laughs> that went crazy. Stop playing with me. Nah, but okay. no, so, so, so Ice Spice. Uh-huh. Um... um Chinese Kitty. Okay. Chinese Kitty, one of them. Boom. Um, oh damn. Um yo, what shorty name, bro? Um that 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 sign, that <laughs> sign, that, that Lil Wayne sign. That Lil, Lil Wayne, Wayne sign. sign. That she got the Richard Melly. Lil Wayne sign. What's, what's that shorty name that she Lil Wayne sign or shorty? I forgot her name. She, mm. bro, she iced out and all that. Whoever Lil Wayne, nah, damn, nah. I, I don't like, I don't, I don't like, like that. that. Shout out like to that. whoever Lil Wayne signed, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta see. Hold on, I don't know who I'm talking about. It's nobody else that you think is bad in the industry. You don't even know her name. You nah, can't think she that bad. You're my top three. So I'm giving you my top three. But you don't know her name. Okay. But it's just because I know she's fire. I'm weak. 
All right. Oh, oh look, look, Rican, Re- Rican the Rican menace. menace. Rican okay, menace. I know who you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah. she is a baddie. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, would you date anybody in the industry? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, shit. I don't know. Maybe Ice Spice. Ooh, how long it says? Cause my man Dion here might be showing his <laughs> shot at you if yeah, you watching. Maybe, maybe Ice Spice. Like I don't know, but nah. But okay. Other for me, other than her. Other than her, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If it happens, it happens, type of vibe. Okay, okay. If it happens, it happens. How do you feel about, like, stuff in the industry? Like, the baby, for example. Like, out in Meg, in his song, telling the world that they fucked with each other. Like, how do you feel about stuff like that? Because I feel like that's where it gets messy when you messing with, like, people in the industry. I mean, it's his craft. You understand? <laughs> listen, listen, listen to what I'm about to say. Oh. It's his craft, so I don't really have any real opinion on it. I don't listen to his music. Me personally, I don't listen to his music. Mm-hmm. I, d- I don't even know what song you're talking about. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to comment on something I don't have any knowledge of. But what I do know is that it's his craft, regardless if he wants to use it in a negative way or in a positive way. That's up to him. He's his own person, and I don't really got nothing to say about it. I do, because I feel like, how dare you, how dare you put my business out there in the street like that? Like, I hate that for Meg, and I hate that for him, because it made him look mad corny. And I, that's I why he's selling buy one, on get messy. one tickets I for his I agree with you on the messy, because it's like, you know, it's like now you're giving up people opportunity. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, private life is, is supposed to be different from what you're doing in... Absolutely, you know? your personal life. So, if you want my opinion, that's my opinion on it. So, if you was fucking with somebody in the industry, would you do something like that? If worse came to worse, would you put it in a song? What happened between y'all? Nah. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't doing All right. Because you, if you said anything else, you might have ruined your no, chance. Because, right? you know, because the, the, way that I, the way that I make my music, if you really pay attention to especially my love songs, mm-hmm. like... I, for me, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't put any details super, super specific to a point where people know that's exactly oh, that's exactly so and so, that's exactly so. So you're and not so. name dropping. I'm not even. Like that. No, it's not even just name dropping. I'm just not even making it specific enough for you to even figure it out. Even put two and two together. Okay, that's fair. You dig? Like, cause okay. it's just. It's my, it's my personal, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm going to give y'all enough so y'all can feel that shit because I know y'all went through that type of shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm, but, mm-hmm. you know, I don't got to do that name dropping or nothing like that. For okay. Like that. All right, so if you had to describe dating in New York in three words, how would you describe it? Oh, my God. Toxic. Toxic. I agree with that. Right? Toxic. Disrespectful. <laughs> disrespectful and a dub <laughs> word oh shit you and know it's crazy because you named two new york women she's out of here your... she's out of here she's out of here okay. I'm, I'm not even worried about that no more she's out of here <laughs> she's out all the way out of here i all know right. she is so okay i mean i'm not disagreeing because dating in new york is absolutely it's trash not, it's really it's really hectic for real like yeah so all right so you call yourself the influence talk about that a little bit why how did that come about and what are you influencing all right so um in my hood i don't know if y'all know but there's not really anybody that really really for real made it out you can't really you can't give me more than matter of fact you can't even get bro ain't nobody made it without for my hood for real for real Mm -hmm. so it's like i i just i want to be that pioneer bad like for me like that's that's really the shit that motivate me the most out of all of this shit because I want to give light to my hood. That's really what I stand for, for real. Like, when it, if you're talking music-wise. Okay. Like, I'm really trying to, like, give... Like I'm trying to open doors, for real, open doors. And what I mean by that, I'm trying to give opportunity. It don't even necessarily if mean that I'm influencing other people to rap. Mm-hmm. If I am, I appreciate that. I hope y'all keep going. But it's not even about that. It's, mm-hmm. about, it's about just, I need y'all to understand that we could do this. We could we could we could make the make it out of the statistics, the statistics that niggas got of us, mm-hmm. and we could do this shit for real. So you like the voice of the hood, shit like that. Okay, shit the like voice that. of the people. Yeah. All right, so you know, year is wrapping up, coming to an end. What are your plans for twenty twenty three? Oh man, make a lot of money and take over. Okay, is that the end goal with this whole music thing? That's the end goal with life. Okay. So if we if we talking music. Uh, bro, I, I mean, want, either way. If, if I, I want to be the greatest, that's my end goal to this music shit. Mm-hmm. So 2023 is going to be a stepping stone for it. Okay. For real, okay. for real. Like, it's the, we, we're doing everything for real. Like, strategic. We're taking time on it. we 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 putting bread up. It's lit. Like, we're we going to go crazy if we, if we decide to keep going. All right. What's the new chapter called so that we 
we have a vision. If you had to name it right now, 2023, what's it called? New beginnings. New beginnings. All right. And it's, it sounds cliche, but it's, it's a deep meaning. New and beginnings. And people that don't know why I say that. New Instagram posts. Shit like that. <laughs> being active on social media, being like outside, that. all of that. Okay. So is there anything else before we wrap up that you would like for the people to know? Um, Like we mentioned, walk away. If y'all didn't already catch on Word. at y'all this point, catch walk on. away. That's, that's a Midnight. Coming midnight, Sunday, the 13th mm-hmm, is lit. Mm-hmm. Um, we we going to have that video ready for y'all too, so y'all going to enjoy that. Everything afterwards is a surprise if it happens. Y'all going to see what's up. But let me shout out people that I love, man. Let me shout out my team, man, because matter of fact, let me say something to, to all um unsigned artists, mm-hmm. anybody on the type of time that I'm on. Like, I ain't going to lie, bro. Get your team. Figure out your team. Because with those people, those are those are the people that's going to help you go to the top for real. I don't mean that on some, like, who's pushing you. Because at the end of the day, if you got talent and you not, the streets is going to push you. Mm-hmm. So it's not even about that. I'm talking about who's really, really there for you when you need it. Who's really going to do the, the, the extra. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. And I finally got that. I fi- and, I, and I thank God for that every day. I'm thankful every day, you know. And, and it's, it's really important to get your in-house team. And it's really important to build, build, build all day. Or keep your creative juices flowing, mm-hmm. which is for me. I love that for you. Well, shout out your team. Shout, shout out, out my your team. team. Shout out my team. Um, okay. And anything else? Let the people know where to find you, of course. Facts. Instagram, the only Dion. Actually, I just the only Dion on everything. I'm the only Dion on YouTube, it's Twitter. Duh, not duh. Duh, duh, D-A, not mm-hmm. T-H-E, D-A, <laughs> only Dion. Mm-hmm, Follow mm-hmm. me on Instagram, all that, Twitter. I'm Niggas, niggas do what they gotta do. Listen, listen. Niggas do what they gotta do. For me. Uh, and niggas come back. Uh, uh. I'm gonna be on all of them shits, all the apps. You feel me? I'm gonna be way more interactive because I know mm-hmm. I've been lacking on other apps and shit like that. So I will definitely be more on point with those. <laughs> I'm sorry to my fans. I apologize. All right, it's it's new beginnings. So it's new beginnings, all like good. I said, new it's beginnings. all good. Well, thank you for stopping by. It was so good to I have you. I appreciate y'all. Shout out Talk of the Town. Shout out to Dion. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Man. All thank right. You. We out.